I'm going to show you how to set up new scanned email accounts using the web interface from your computer. It makes it a lot faster and easier than trying to set up new accounts from the touchscreen display of the printer. So to log into the web interface, you're going to go ahead and go up to your browser and you're going to type in the IP address of the printer. So I type in the IP address and hit enter. It's going to bring us to the web connection. And in my case, we have a, a password account tracking setup. So I'm going to put in my account to access the machine and say log in. In most cases, if you're not using a password system, you would just go right to the login and it would bring you to this screen. Once you're here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over to where you see store addresses. And store addresses in this case are going to be any new email, scanned email accounts. You'll see all of the email addresses already set up and you have the option to click new registration to add addresses. It is going to be an email address we're going to add, so we're going to hit OK. We're going to let the machine use its own opening number. And what I usually do select is that we come down here to main and we tell the machine that we want the email address we're setting up to be on the main screen. So when you walk up to the scanner and you select scan, they'll be able to see their address on that main screen. Now we come down to where it shows email address and we actually put in the email address and then we want to put in the name right here of the person so that so that I can find my email when I walk up to use the machine. So I've got my name, I want it in the main directory, I have put in my email address, and now I hit OK. So we're done. Um, I can hit return if I want to go right back there and put in additional addresses. You'll see that my address is there. But we also can come up here and just say new registration again. Select email, say OK. It's going to bring us right back to the same place and we're going to let it use its opening number again. We're going to select main. In this case we're going to say the email address is devon at csbscopiers.com. We're going to tell it that the name is Devin. We're going to come down here and say OK. And if we hit return, we'll see that we've now added Devin. So it's just that simple. In the same way, you can come back to these store addresses. You can see everybody that's programmed. And I could say, let's get rid of this Ross guy. Delete and OK. Now we're done, and now that second instance of Ross's email has been deleted. So this is really easy to do just by plugging in the IP address of the printer into your browser, logging in, going to your store address, and making any additions or changes you need to make. That's how you add or delete email addresses for the scanned email function on your BizHub printer.